Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today, I was going to give a plug about the recent posting I just put up on our South Pole heifers. Uh, these would be uh, located in Kansas City. They're actually about 30 miles or 30 minutes south of Kansas City. And uh, this fellow's grown his herd up. He's got quite a few animals and um, kids have all left. And now it's just him and his wife and he's kind of lacking labor and they're in a pretty good drought over there, and uh, he doesn't have the grass. And so he is uh, selling off some heifers, and so it's an opportunity for someone to get some really nice heifers. These are uh, pure blood South Poles. Uh, he started his herd back in 2015 and got his start from us. He bought some really nice heifers from us and some bulls, and he's grown that herd. And since 2015, he's never brought anything in it. Except for recently, he did an experiment. Um, he did buy a registered Wagyu bull to put on these heifers. The uh, four that are bred, he had them preg checked. There's four of these heifers that are bred, and they're going to be calving. He did have five. One of them just calved. And so he's keeping that one. But uh, I did put a picture of the Wagyu cross South Pole calf on there. And <clears throat> what he's trying to do is get the intramuscular uh, marbling and fat layer by using a Wagyu bull on the South Pole on grass. Most of your people that are using Wagyu are doing it on a grain-fed basis. They feed them, you know, a lot of grain and get that fat in there and makes for, a, you know, a different product that people, some people enjoy that. Um, but anyway, uh, so these four heifers were run with a South Pole bull and a Wagyu bull. So we're not sure <laughs> which ones are going to, which one actually bred these four heifers? But there's four of those, and then these are 2021 heifers, and there's seven uh, 2021 heifers that are open, so they're ready to breed anytime you would like to do that. And then there's an additional uh, 12 yearling heifers, would be 2022. And uh, I believe there's eight of those that are spring calvers. And then there was four uh, that were fall calvers. So they would have been calved in the fall of 2022, which would be, uh, you know, good for putting a bull into those probably at the end, the end of November. But anyway, if you're interested, go to our website, greenpasturesfarm.net. I've got a lot of inform information, how they were raised, uh, what they've been, how they've been treated, and, you know, super gentle. As you can see from the video that I posted yesterday, they're actually... You know, that one he's rubbing on, it's like a, it's like a dog, looks like some of our cows. Um, and that's what we like. We like, we like docility. Um, we did our bull sales today and people were amazed, you know, just how gentle our bulls are. People just walk through, you know, we had 20 some bulls in there and people just walk through them like they're a bunch of dogs. Bulls didn't pay attention to anybody. So that's the way to raise cattle. Doc docile animals make safe animals. They're easy to handle and easy to manage, and you know I've I've been down that road of the wild stuff, and I don't want any more of that. So anyway, check it out, greenpasturesfarm.net. Click on the link, and uh, we'll see y'all down the road.